Huh? Oh, it's you. I see you've stumbled across this YouTube video. Refreshing. Well, let's get started, shall we? So I'm thinking of rebranding to Mando Graphic. I'm sure Disney will be fine with it. Anyway, welcome everyone to my 2021 gaming setup slash office tour. And this video has been highly requested by you guys, so I'm really excited to finally get this out there. And having just moved into this new place and building this setup from scratch, I think I'm finally at a point now where I can show it to you guys and give you a little peek behind the curtain, so to speak, at where I work and spend the majority of my time as a content creator. So this is my triple monitor setup. I've got three 27 inch panels all mounted on a triple monitor stand. I've got the HP Omen 27, which is a 240Hz 1440p display. So good for gaming, really smooth, and the picture quality is, well, it's 1440p. It looks great. The two vertical monitors are the BenQ GW2780 27-inch 1080p monitors at 76Hz, which, you know, you don't need overkill monitors if you're not using them for gaming. Moving on to my peripherals, I'm using the Corsair K65 Lux RGB 10 keyless keyboard, and I recently upgraded to the Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Mouse, which, I mean, this is the first wireless mouse that I've ever owned, but I don't think I'll ever go back to a wired mouse again. I wish I'd made the jump sooner, honestly. Before that, I was using the Final Mouse Ultralight Phantom, and the wire on that mouse is designed to feel like a wireless mouse, but it still got caught on things, and eventually I just decided to get a wireless mouse, and that's the main reason I got the Razer Viper Ultimate as well, because they're very similar in price profile as you can see, which made the transition to a new mouse super easy. I've never once run out of battery on this thing yet, I just leave it on this wireless charging dock overnight and I'm ready to go the next day. It's great. The headphones that I use are the Audio-Technica ATH M50X and I've had these for about 5 years now. I'll be honest that is my second pair in 5 years, but I stepped on my first pair about a month ago so my bad. On the left side of my desk I've got the Elgato Stream Deck which I can control various different functions of my live stream and even turn on my Elgato key light, which actually has a piece of fan art attached to it right now. Next to my stream deck is the Loop Deck Live. Now think of this thing as a stream deck for editing. It's great for accessing those hard to remember shortcuts in Premiere Pro or Photoshop. And this is my GoXLR and if you've ever wondered how me and my friends use samples or censor our swear words, well this is f***ing how. Honestly, this is one of the best investments I've made as a content creator. It also powers my microphone too, so I can mute and unmute my mic as well as doing a bunch of different sound effects and silly voiceovers that I'm sure you've heard me do a million times before. It also allows me to split my microphone, game audio, and Discord chat into different tracks so that I can change the audio levels independently, and it also gives me more freedom when I'm editing. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet though. The microphone that I use is the Shure SM7B, which is attached to a Rode PSA1 mic stand and powered by the GoXLR like I mentioned earlier. I have absolutely no desire to change this mic, it's served me well for so many years and I highly recommend it. Now the reason why my desk is so well lit is because of the BenQ light bar which attaches to your main monitor and you can adjust the temperature or turn the light off and on with this nifty dial and it can really brighten up any space. I mean just look at the difference here. My setup looks so much better for it. Plus it really helps with eye strain whenever I'm gaming or editing late at night which I so often do. Now, you might be wondering why I have a camera because you never see face cam on this channel but I do occasionally use it on my Twitch channel which you should definitely follow by the way and there might be a surprise waiting for you at the end of this video. But don't skip ahead. Next up, and a very important piece of my setup, is my chair. I spend 90% of my time in it, and so investing in my posture seemed like a good idea. So this is the Herman Miller Aeron chair. Not cheap, and if you want comfort, then this probably isn't the chair for you. Not to say it isn't comfortable, but you know, there's definitely softer options out there. But it seemed like a wise purchase considering the nature of my job. Now, since moving to the PC Master Race a few years ago, I've kind of stopped playing console games, but occasionally a PC game comes along that just feels better with a controller, and so I have the Xbox Elite controller there whenever I need it, and this is my Logitech Brio webcam, which I used to use as my main camera, but now it's kind of just there whenever I need it for freehand. This is a snapback that Stonehouse64 sent me, thank you Stone, and this is a basket that I just keep some bits and bobs in, as well as some snacks and some tomographic stickers, which I actually got printed for my PC, and I've also given some out at conventions in the past, but onto the PC. So I will be upgrading to a dual PC setup very soon, but this is my monster rig. I mean, it's completely overkill, but even though it's got some absolutely top tier hardware in here, it's really difficult to run games like Warzone on a one PC setup, recording, streaming, and gaming, and so I lose more FPS than I'd like to. So for that reason, I will be getting a second PC very soon, just to help balance that workload. And don't worry, it's not sat on the carpet, I'm not a complete idiot. 
Now on the underside of my desk, I've actually mounted a 12-way power strip and my USB hub to the base of the desk. Not only to help hide the cables, but you might be wondering why this mat has been on the floor the entire time. Well, I actually use this mat to stand on because yes, this is in fact a standing desk. Just look at me investing in my health so that my legs aren't 90% blood clots. Wow. Look at it go! Now this desk does need to hold a lot of weight, those monitors are not light. But the motors in this thing are super strong, they could even hold me! Oh what's that, you don't believe me? Well let me prove it haters! And just like that, they never doubted me again. Standing desk though, great purchase. Now what's this crap on the floor I hear you ask? Well this is a cycle machine, because I don't have a bike. And you guessed it, blood clots are bad. To the right of that is my foot switch, and I use that for Discord, so push to talk and deafen. You can get these really cheap on Amazon, but I highly recommend it if you live stream and talk to your chat a lot whilst you're playing. It just means that you don't have to take your fingers off the important keys when you're in the heat of battle. And again, I'm trying to keep things as cable free as possible. Behind me is a door that I almost never step outside of, and three disc plates on the wall from the Modern Warfare franchise. I've got Ghost, Captain Price, and Soap McTavish. Below that is a casting couch and G Fuel Corner, we will call it. Um, if you didn't know I'm a G Fuel partner, you can use code TOMO to save 10% on your G Fuel. I've got some tubs stacked up there at the moment that you see in my stream background, but hopefully one day I will get a G Fuel fridge that will sit atop this PUBG care package that I got sent many years ago when I made PUBG content. You remember those days? Of course you don't. My FPS skills have come a long way since PUBG, let's put it that way. Oh, and yeah, this couch folds out into a bed, by the way. Also, that sloth is cursed, don't make eye contact. I said don't make Here I've got just a, a little bookcase, I guess, with um, my 100k YouTube plaque. I mean, thank you guys for that. I don't take it for granted. I know that we're over 300,000 subscribers now, but that first 100k meant a lot to me. So hopefully one day we'll get a million subs and I can hang that above this one and we can all drink Yakult together. I don't know. Why did I say that? Anyway, I've got some cabinet lights underneath the bookshelf that just light up all of my stuff. And I've got a remote control, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. There's a remote control that I've attached with some Velcro that I can just take off and turn the lights on that way too. And obviously a 2080 Ti is just sat down there, being a very expensive ornament for the time being, until I probably put it in my new streaming PC. I'm filming this part a bit later at night because I totally forgot to show you guys the lights that I use behind my monitors that, you know, they change the colour of the background, it's cool and stuff. There's a notch that you can turn to change the colour, but it also comes with an app. These are actually my photography lights that I used to use before Covid, uh, but they're really good and really bright and they're better than Philips Hue, but you should probably get Philips Hue because they're much more affordable and these are just stupidly expensive for what they are. But they are portable, so I've also put these on with some Velcro so I can remove them when I need to. Uh, and yeah, they're called the Aperture MC RGB LED, as I've done there with a fancy graphic. I figured I'd get some questions about my wallpapers as well, because, I mean, they're really cool, but I'm a massive fan of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. But these are actually moving wallpapers from Wallpaper Engine, which is an app on Steam. But I think they look really unique and help to bring the setup together, so just thought I'd mention that at the end. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my 2021 gaming setup and office tour. I'm really happy with it and hope you like it as well. Just remember that I have accumulated all of this stuff over a few years, so it didn't just happen overnight for me. But because of you guys, I've been able to invest back into my channel and ultimately be more productive and make better content for you all. So yeah, thanks for sticking around and making this all possible. I did promise you one last thing though. Okay, it's actually me now. Tomographic, if you didn't know. This is what I look like. Hi. Yeah, it's a bit weird for me too. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and having a little look around my uh, 2021 office setup. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can come join the community Discord as well, where you can find people to play with or chat with myself and other members of the community. I mean, look at these legends. I told them to say hi if they wanted to be in a YouTube video, so now I'm just rambling to fit as many people in as possible. So, um, hi. How's your goldfish? I just realized I've got a cursor here. Has that been there the entire time? I think it has. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more like this. Although I won't post videos like this very regularly, so subscribe for more of my usual content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. No, that's not my outro. What's my outro? Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will catch you legends in the next one. Bye-bye.